Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. Today is the day that the NSX body kit is getting painted. And this is a huge deal because me and Randy have been going ham on that kit for the past two weeks, trying to knock that thing out completely. And we're on the home stretch. Earlier today, oh, look at the silhouette lighting in here. Wow. Shout out Cree lights. So in the last video, you guys saw me and Marco put the exhaust on the LS400 and you guys know I've been running this car without an exhaust for almost a year now. And uh, it is light years quieter now that it has the front and mid pipe on with the muffler. It's crazy, but it's time for the whole reason why you're here and that is the NSX. Randy is in the prep room getting that thing in final sanding. Yesterday, I didn't film any of it, but we ended up blocking the quarter panels. They needed a little bit of filler. After the filler, Randy blocked the quarter panels and then put them in primer, and then he just finished doing a light sand on the primer, making sure that everything is smooth. All of the waves that were there before are all gone. These panels are smooth as glass, and they look perfect. So I'm very excited. Got the whole paint booth swept up, cleaned up. Everything is good to go in here, so it's almost time. I'm very, very excited for this. know me when something exciting like this happens I can't help it but shoot a bunch of cinematics and that's this channel so be prepared for a lot of beautiful cinematics to go with this because this is a huge deal I don't know if you guys understand how big of a deal this is like this body kit and stuff like that they don't have these in the US there's a very few amount of NSX's that run this kit I would say less than 10 within the US um, and it's it's pretty crazy so I'm I'm very excited for this I don't really know what else to say Randy has been going hard for the past two weeks getting this stuff prepped up good to go and it's time
you guys might think that that was the base that just went down. That was actually the sealer before the base, right? Yes. So it's looking good. Oh yeah. It's looking real good. It right. kind of it it showed off how straight everything is oh, now. Yeah. Thank God we floated it. And it looks amazing. <laughs> We're going to really enjoy the fruits of our labor in a minute. Oh yeah, I'm so stoked. is uh, an interesting black because it has like a little hint of brown in it and you can't really tell in here but when it's laid out thin you can see the brown tint that's in the black so this should be a direct match for the car so it's fucking time dude it's ready <laughs> So those shots right there is the epitome of why bodywork is the paint job. If you don't do a good job with bodywork, you're gonna get a bad job. Yeah, you guys killed it on the bodywork on this yeah, thing. We definitely have it going over it a couple times. Yeah, but definitely it looks smooth. It showed that all that was worth it. That bumper's gonna look killer. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. You need to put like the two little bucky things in the inside. Yeah. With the grill. <laughs> It's going to be so good. Oh, yeah. This is my baby. I'm a super noble kind of guy. I love the other one at the shop. Yeah. But I'm an Awada guy. Like, I love Awada guns. I love the Velvets. I love Sada. I mean, once you go with Awada, you just, you just can't, you go, can't back. go back. Like, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> so. We got clear mix in there? Yeah, clear mix in here. We got some glamour clear, some DC 599.5. Which is like my go to, like, showstopper. Love that. Uji clear, you know, yeah. Uji. <laughs> Every time I come out here, he comes right to the quarter panel and he just stares at it. You guys definitely killed it. Like, definitely killed it. This shit is so flat, dude. It's crazy because it's like, it's fiberglass. Yeah. You know, that it's a mold and it, you know, no matter how they, you know, I'm sure they worked hard to get it to where it's as flat as possible, but it's just a mold. So over time, shipping, sun, heat, all those elements without it being on an actual structure of a car, it's always going to be a little bit wavy. It's going to have dance. Yeah. It's going to have little things that you're just not going to see until you either guide coat it, lock it down, or skim coat it. I'm glad we did skim coat this one. The flat areas are a little wavy because it's such a long car, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's not going to have, you know, we counted, what, eight or nine dents? every panel yeah so it's gonna look it's gonna look a lot better than what it would if you were just a primer you know seal it base it and put it on the car so. right but i'm just really stoked about the back orders i think everything on this car is going to be like the front bumper and just the, the ass end you know because yep. it's got that you know it's got that wide effect it's got to look good so you got the diffuser in the back too oh my god with fitted wheels and we're everything not, we're not ready we're it's not gonna be ready. so good it's clear code time. I'm probably looking like a fucking idiot with this thing dangling, but let's go. I'm so stoked.
to give it to Randy. He spent the past two weeks, so many hours of work have gone into this kit, getting everything flat, getting everything blocked, getting everything primed, blocking it again, filling a couple things. Just he really, really wanted to make this kit perfect and he did just that. And the proof is in the pudding, as they say, this stuff looks phenomenal. It's hard to tell that this is even fiberglass at this point. Some factory panels don't even look this good. And I'm so pumped about the whole turnout of this. I'll give you guys a walk around of every single panel now that it's all laid. Randy went super heavy on the clear because he wants to do some wet sanding in the future. Like these side skirts, everything is fiberglass. The side skirts, glass. So perfect. Look at the front bumper. This shit is insane. I'm, I'm treading so lightly in here. Look at the fenders. Like, gas cap. Perfect. Quarter panels. Absolutely insane. Look at that. I really gotta give it to Randy and Chewy. Both of them knocked this out of the park. I could not be more happy. It is. It is absolutely insane. A couple little areas where there's like a little bit of lint and stuff that ended up getting into the clear, but all of that will come out with wet sanding. But yeah, this is this is my Marga Hills Wide Body Kit. Um, and it looks as good as I could have ever imagined. I, I could not have asked for a better paint job. Um, and I owe it all to Randy. So he's been out here multiple days the past couple weeks till midnight just sanding and blocking and primering and sanding and blocking. He just wanted to make sure this stuff looked perfect. And he did just that. I'm gonna leave this stuff in here for an entire day. And then hopefully by Tuesday, today's Sunday night, hopefully by Tuesday, it is dry enough, it is ready to handle, and we can start putting the stuff on the car. Cause I want in this video to have the car with the entire body kit on it, ready with the wheels, do a whole reveal. This will be just an absolutely, this will be my favorite video of the year. I think this will be my favorite video of the year that I'm going to make because it's my favorite car, my favorite body kit, my favorite wheels. I just, I couldn't be more happy. So this is, this is insane and I cannot wait for Tuesday. Good morning, brand new day. Gotta get the NSX washed before we start assembling. And I called on the uh, Space Coast Auto Spa guys to come back out here and uh, help get the car all cleaned up. So we're gonna pull the old girl out of the bay, get the inside, outside, everything all nice and clean, ready to get reassembled. Today's a big day. This is insane. Coast Auto Spa guys, they killed it. This thing looks super clean. They were able to get all of the underside panels pretty much back to OEM condition, which is really, really nice, really assuring to uh, see that these uh, panels will not have dirty undersides to them anymore. The kit looks amazing, the car looks amazing, so it's time to put, uh, put the stuff on. But I have a little surprise that I haven't uh, talked about that is going to change the whole look of this thing. Uh, a lot, which I'm very, I'm looking at them now, I'm very stoked. 
You guys know when I test fitted the Blitz on this car, I had silver faces and they looked great, but they were a little beat. So I had the silver faces sent out. They got repowder coated. They came back. They weren't really the color that I was going for. And I ended up working out a deal with Adam in trading my powder coat faces for chrome faces. And I am so unbelievably stoked at how these came out. I refinished the lips, cleaned up the barrels, put everything together. They look phenomenal. I'm gonna uh, bring the panels over here, get all the hardware, and start assembling. <laughs> All right, so I uh, so I just got the front fenders and front bumper all bolted up, and looking at this thing, like even with only half the kit on, I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh man, the color matches perfectly. Nothing to hide. So good, so freaking good. Oh, it's so awesome. So this is like a 30 millimeter wider front and rear kit. So the fenders, so you can see, have a little more bulge to them. So 30 mil wider there, 30 mil wider in the back. <sighs> Fiberglass molding Randy did for the headlights is so good. Every, oh, he, he knocked this out of the park. I'm so stoked. Color matches perfectly. The bumper fits perfectly. The fenders fit perfectly. I couldn't be happier. This is so good. Need to fix the little gap down there on the door line on the fender, but that's super easy. Door still opens and everything perfectly fine. I'm going to move on to the quarter panel, and this is what I've been waiting for because this is going to be the biggest change to the car, I think. The front end, all put together, and the rear is the, huge, the biggest change to this car's look. I'm going to set you guys back down, and then we can get a profile shot of this car, minus the side skirts with the rear quarter on. one more piece goes on this car the more and more I am impressed with how this body kit fits up sure it took a little bit of work to get like the rear quarters perfectly flat but in terms of their fit up we didn't have to do anything to that and they fit up just like OEM which is amazing the body lines are perfect everything is perfect underside of the car is clean I'm already more than half the way done it's been like probably an hour and a half two hours worth of work getting this on and it looks fucking amazing. Fenders on. 
front bumper on, both rear quarter panels on, tight, good to go. All that's left for the kit is the side skirts, which I want some help with to put on because they fit over this very tightly and I don't want to break the skirt or scratch the fender. So I'm going to wait until I have some assistance for the skirts. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is jack the car up and play around with the wheels a little bit, see what they fit like. I know that I need to order bigger lips for the Blitz in the near future, but right now, because the Blitz faces are low disc and they hit the brakes on the car, I need to run a spacer regardless to clear the brakes. So I'm going to go grab the wheels and start messing with fitment on this thing. Okay, so I've been messing around with spacers and stuff for the past half hour or so. I think I figured out the exact size that I need. The ones that I bought are way too fucking big, which I'm glad because I don't want to run a big spacer anyway. But I played around with a bunch of different sizes and right now, this is the car aired out, aired down on the driver's side. And it clears in here in the front about, I don't know, a centimeter and a half, 15 mil, and what's on it right now is about 20 millimeters of spacer. So I'm going to order an inch uh, spacers for the front, and then for the back, I also have a 20 mil spacer on, and the same thing, it has about another centimeter of gap in here. So I'm gonna order inch spacers all around for this car. The hard part is that the center bore, the hub bore, on the knuckles of these cars is huge so i need like a 75 millimeter hub bore spacer to be able to make these work and i don't even think the blitz have a hub bore on the back that are that big so even if i was to spec these wheels out to the perfect size uh they wouldn't work anyway but regardless what i'm trying to say is i'm going to need to run a spacer anyways to fit these wheels on this car but it's not a huge deal i am a huge fan of having wheels that actually fit the car and the TEs, even though they were perfect stock NSX spec, uh, they don't fit the car aired down whatsoever. So I'm stoked to see some tighter fitment on this. And this is so cool. Okay, so it's the next day and I got the spacers in from Amazon. Funny enough, they even came with some uh, Loctite, which is pretty funny, but I never uh, really run that because I don't like not being able to take spacers off. But anyways, I put them on the rear and it looks to be pretty promising. So this is aired up fitment, a little pokey, but obviously I am very high right now. I don't plan to drive that high all the time. So the downside with the rear wheels, I thought that they were 10 and a halfs when I bought them, but they're actually nine and a halfs. So maybe in the future I can uh, get rid of the spacer, get a one inch bigger lip, step it up to an actual 10 and a half and then we'll be good there because it looks like I have more than an inch of clearance between the caliper and the face. So I think I should be able to do that. Step these up an inch and then get a slip on spacer put on there. Just like a little five mil if I really need it. Also, when I was assembling my 17s, my front wheels, the hardware was too small. So, so this is 24 millimeter hardware and it was too small. I can only get a couple threads on with a nut. So thankfully I was able to order a set of 32 millimeter studs and they were able to get here in time. So these just arrived. I just replaced all of the short bolts with long bolts for the 17s. So the front wheels are good. I'm gonna put the spacer on, put the front wheels on, see if those are all set. Do a little bit more trimming if I need to. I trimmed out just a tiny little bit in here. I'm not sure if I already uh, talked about that, but when I was turning the wheels were touching the insides of the fender but that was easy, no biggie there. So I'm gonna put the 17s back on and uh, we're gonna see what the fitment looks like. 
may air it down as well. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I did kind of a bad job at filming today. I just kind of forgot to pick the camera up and just got in the zone and I'm looking at the thing aired out for the first time with the whole kit on and the wheels and tires and everything and it's it's a dream come true. This, this thing is truly uh, one of a kind now and I, I couldn't be happier. Oh my God. <laughs> this thing looks absolutely insane i really am just so happy at how this thing came out the front looks like an fd now because of the widened fenders no more sunken tires this thing is so freaking good paint match is on point body lines are straight last night i got the gas cap in and fully functioning perfect fully functioning this thing looks like a million dollar car. Got the rear diffuser on this morning. I am so stoked at how this thing looks. seeing this thing outside for the first time, even aired up. It's just too surreal, too surreal. It's exactly the way I wanted it to look from wheels to body kit to suspension. It's not like a Fitment Industries ad. This guy's staring at me all weird. What do you think of this thing? Thumbs up. Thumbs up? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and pull it into the classic burnout area because that place looks the coolest for photos because of all the burnouts. So she's done. A couple little kinks to work out, but for the most part, she, she's done. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic segment. I am through the moon stoked about how this thing came out. This whole process, this whole journey with this car has been amazing so far. And it has definitely shown me the reason why this is my favorite car of all time. It's just everything about it. I have zero complaints about this car. And now that it looks the way that I envisioned it, I couldn't be more happy. As you can see, I have the ISO turned up quite a bit, but it's pretty laid out. Uh, Thankfully, I was able to get this thing completely finished before Long Beach, California, which I leave tomorrow for because it's the first round of FD and I want to make sure that I get there. In a week or two, Randy's going to come by and we're going to end up uh, wet sanding and buffing the entire kit, make sure it is completely smooth, get out any little dust nibs that might be in there, but we want to give it a little more time to cure before we do that. But 
I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you're stoked. This has been a long time coming for me, and I am happy. I'm happy. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Dream car, dream kit, dream wheels. God, it's so good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you guys later.